We're gonna do our own version of Cowboy Be Back. Be Be Back. back. Yes. Be Be Back. (laughs) Be Back. Cowboy Be Back. Cowboy Be Back (laughs) for Blood. Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Out of nothing about Prince. This week, I have, now, now I have Purple Rain stuck in my head. You deserve so. it. You deserve it. That is Could Jordan Swang. That the noise, most beautiful girl is Pedro Mateus. <laughs> this noise is Ben Stone together with you. Shot Realm Dynamic joining us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. That's oddly appropriate. That graphic is appropriate for the game we're reviewing this week, isn't it? Because it's yeah, got so much cocaine in it. Little, little, little slot machine, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the System 76 employees learned uh, the danger of posting laptops because <laughs> <laughs> not properly cropping the bits around it is <laughs> well it, it, it wasn't that so much as uh emptying myself got into a cocaine photoshopping contest with um <laughs> system 76 hardware <laughs> I, I saw the bricks <laughs> i got the bricks then like, yeah, one stitches. following that was stitches with the yeah. uh, system 76 and i had the godfather <laughs> <laughs> LGC cares. Say no to drugs, kids, unless they're like really nice. Um, stay away from aspirin. So before we get going, we'd like to play a little game. See what's going on. I know Jordan, you've just had holiday. Did mm-hmm. I didn't yes or no get from you? Did you get to watch the Sonic movie? And in- yeah, that, that was that was a couple weeks ago. Um, no, no, I mean like the Sonic One movie. The Sonic One movie. Yeah, the rewatch or the Sonic Two movie. It um, was it was it was Sonic Two. It was Sonic Two. That yeah. one done. All right. Yeah. Then your power went out. Yeah, then my, <laughs> my power went out two or three times. No, it was, it was great. Um, yeah, busy, busy, busy vacation week. Up to stuff. Um, had to treat a case of food poisoning. Saw saw Doctor Strange. It's, it's, it's solid. A lot more of a horror movie than I would have thought, and it's it's very Raimi esque. Made me want to go back and watch Army of Darkness again. Are you excited for the Avatar Part Two? Oh my god, I could I, I saw that trailer and I'm like, wow, I'm that is a hard pass. <laughs> that hard did that pass. movie really justify it. Number two no, well, <laughs> James Cameron has a lot of money and a lot of submarines, and he's gonna blackmail whoever he needs to to get his twenty seven thousand avatar sequels out into the world. Like they're paid for. Like it was a, it was like a nice CGI remake of Fern Gully. I mean, I didn't think uh, yeah, I mean, but, but, Pocahontas, yeah. The um, <laughs> I don't expect. Do you think they're going to try to do the three D thing again? Maybe, like, because that, that that was kind of Avatar's big shtick. So they Wasn't may they, they may try to bring that back. Yeah, I don't the know. sex scene with the uh, leaves falling. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> were they were they slap their ponytails together? Yeah, that's some, that, that's, that's some hot sex. <laughs> but now they have gills or some shit. So whatever. Oh no no no! They're, they're whales. There's like sexy whales now. Sexy mm-hmm. whales. Sexy whales. Oh, man, the conventions They're not are cold sperm lit. whales for nothing. <laughs> How about you, Pedro? You got a thing. I did. Uh, I got a thing. Uh, the Drop it. <laughs> My Vic 2022. Yes, there you go. It, 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 it looks like an old Vic 20. but It functions uh, like an old Vic 20 at the moment, right? Yeah. Because it's bricked? Well, it, it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> it's about as useful. You can hold things down with it. Look at it. Yeah, no, the I think it's the power supply. I, I told this story in the uh, pre-show, but uh, yeah, I think it's the power supply because I tested just about everything else. The only thing I don't have another one to test is the motherboard or a power supply. And the power supply, it's easy enough to replace because um, it's one of these. It's one of the uh, cheapo Pico PSU ones. So let's hope it's this. <laughs> now, I got two theories. You One... Ordered a replacement, mm-hmm. but you didn't order two. <laughs> no, I didn't order two. I just ordered the ones. <laughs> so I'm just saying there's a non-zero chance Pedro might spend another couple of weeks looking at it longingly. <laughs> but I like the work that you did for the HDMI port. Looks nice. Oh, yeah. No, the um, because there's a dedicated GPU in there. Uh, so... <laughs> I had to add an extra HDMI port. <laughs> well, well, that's, it's that's just one way to do it. <laughs> Need, needs but more it duct works. tape. It works. <laughs> hey, man, if it gets the job done. So, over here, um, I talked about it last week. Uh, we got the 
water cooler for Threadripper and the AIOM 360. Is that considered chunky for radiator? 360 is uh, the big, yeah. It's not a 480, but it's big. <laughs> okay, because it looks anemic as hell in a 750D case. Like, there's just tons of room on both left and right. And uh, Arthur picked it up for me. It does a fantastic job at displacing heat that I noticed coming right out of the top. I played around with like fans and got, got everything lined up right. The top of this desk is warm to the touch now. <laughs> is, is there a little Old bit of like heat. fog underneath? Can you draw like a little smiley face under? There is a dead zone of like, fuck that air. Yeah. <laughs> like hovering right around. I mean, good job, good work, keeping everything, you know, low 40s and all that. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Smelting every time I come near. But if you're quick, if you can get in and out about an hour before it gets heat soaked, you're good. It's come in. Boom, boom. And that's my story. We don't need water cooling, as we've established on multiple occasions, uh, for the horse. It's just... Uh, it's already a liquid, right? Like, it's... it's not gel- really. It, it's, it's, like the, it's the fifth it's, state of matter. It's, <laughs> the fifth, <laughs> isn't, isn't the fifth element love? There's nothing. There's no love in the horse. It's the steam! And uh, wouldn't you know it, we start the Steam news with some Steam Deck. That 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 that's just a thing that but happens nowadays. You, why, why do you keep talking about like the biggest thing that has like affected Linux that's, gaming? Yeah, that's happened to Linux gaming yeah. since well, Steam <laughs> on Linux. So so let, let let me ask, what's broken this week? Uh, uh well, uh, from my experience, not very much is broken. But they did release a new uh, stable client, which comes with uh, time on the lock screen. Which you may think, okay, time on the lock screen. Why wasn't that a thing already? And uh, <laughs> but it, it's surprisingly useful, uh, especially if you you know fall asleep on the couch and the only thing that you have to hand that can show you the time is the Steam Deck. <laughs> yeah, li- 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 lying on your back on the couch, you fall asleep. <laughs> the, the deck smashes on your face. Yeah. No, see, I, I I put it away before I took a nap, and then I didn't want to get up to check my phone, so I grabbed the deck, and it's like, oh, I have to unlock you, don't I? Except, no, I didn't, because time was on the uh, the lock screen now, which is very time was on very, your side. Never yes. understood. Never understood. <laughs> I'm kind of done with it, man, because like you know, now you know if your battery's almost dead and you're disconnected from the network, and by the way, your ass is late to work. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> all that information right in the palm of your face when you drop it <laughs> and they uh fix the uh per game profiles which was the big thing we talked about last week the per game performance and per game configuration profiles that you could do they had some issues but they've yeah, been they- fixed now the issue was it was loading the wrong <laughs> FPS cap. It's kind of yes. kind of important. Uh, the other thing they fixed is uh, the touchscreen event for pinch zooming has been a little less sensitive now, so no uh-huh. more unexpected unexpected zoom and enhance. Gonna have to get new sausage. No. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So, okay, we're not gonna overload you with it, but we do have an update for Steam OS three point two in the beta. If yes. you like the lift uh, date, the- how has that been, Pedro? Do you feel like uh, are you running the latest and greatest? I am on the beta, yes. Uh, I had to back out of the beta like when I first got it because it stopped me from launching games. But yeah. lately, the betas have actually been pretty good, and uh-huh. I've been running the latest and greatest one, including this one, which uh, fixes one of the big complaints that people have had, which is how whiny and how loud the 60 mil fan that's teeny tiny laptop fan of course it's, it's like i'm well. so small i'm just a yeah. fan. You're like shut up fan <laughs> and the thing that they um actually did which was very very clever they just changed the way that the fan itself ramps up so you can't really tell because human earring is a bit chit uh so if something is at a like a constant volume you don't really tell like any difference and if it ramps up slowly you can't really perceive that increase but if it suddenly changes then you notice it that much more so what they did was make those changes far more gradual and sparse them out a little bit so yes if you have like a dell 42 uh 42 no latitude 5410 and a f- or 5420 they're basically the same thing um if you have one of those running right next to you with a steam deck you can't hear the steam deck it's all gonna be the laptop that's going to be making all the noise yeah and they fixed one other thing <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I mean, folks were really complaining about that fan noise. Uh, I guess here, here, here's, here's your freaking fix, people. Here's the other thing. Like, I don't know. Is it just me? Or if I were if I were playing a game on the Steam Deck and mm-hmm. I wanted, like, sound, I'd probably get a pair of headphones, right? That tends to block out a lot of fan noise. Otherwise, you're going to be that asshole on the bus who's, like, blasting. <laughs> yeah, or not, not, not even that. Just blasting, like, the Dark Souls Elden Ring soundtrack in the middle of a bus. Like, ah, 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 ah. Everyone's like, shut the fuck up. And you're like, no, I got a dodge roll. Got to smash into more barrels. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, when you bring that up, you had to really think about, like, yeah, you probably got headphones on. But I can see, like, around the house, you don't. And, uh, yeah. yeah, you have no ambient background. The speakers background are actually noise. really nice. For for their size, they sound a lot better than you expect. And they're louder now. There's, there's that. Okay. <laughs> they're louder now. They go up to, but like, 12. The thing that they changed, speaking of headphones, I have these uh, KZ... ZX uh, ZSN Pro X's. They're in ear monitors. They look like earring aids. Um, And these, if I plug them into, if I plugged past tense uh, them into the Steam Deck, there was some white noise. There's a couple of laptops uh, that I have that have that exact same issue. That's been fixed. They fixed it. No longer have these. No longer have white noise when connected to the Steam Deck. That's very much appreciated. Thank you. (laughs) Good to know. All right. Now, NVIDIA, game scope. All I can say, oh. yeah, baby, NVIDIA. Oh, Jensen FX, baby. <laughs> uh, it's incoming. So this is from the uh, Plagman, you know, over at Valve, the GitHub support for NVIDIA image scaling, number 488. And look at that. It's been merged. So this is going to fix everything. Jordan tried it. It worked perfectly out of the box on um, his 10 series. And uh, yeah, it's just game scope for days, right? Absolutely no. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, uh, on uh, kernel five seventeen point nine with uh, the five fifteen kernels, and I I pulled the latest game scope. Get it does work. I I was able to launch game scope in a little little window. Uh, I I turned on the Nvidia image scaling. I ran it ran Cyberpunk. It runs uh, fifteen frames a second slower than normally, and with a shit ton of input latency. So you know Nvidia game scope. It's it's working. It's ready for prime time, man. Um. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm kind of just jazzed at the moment that, like, I can even get GameScope launching on an NVIDIA card. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, have, having some additional image scaling uh, engines is always nice because you... Because, like, m- maybe FSR is not good with one game, but uh, NIS works better with another or vice versa, right? Like, you, you can mix and match. It gives you it gives you these options, and you, can, you don't have to actually, like, modify your game to take advantage of them. I still have, like, this weird, weird feel that, like, AMD, not AMD, but Intel and NVIDIA. I'm like, we can make a Steam Deck. <laughs> was it, it was called the Shields. Yeah, they, they made the Shield, and then Steam they made Deck. the Switch, <laughs> which is, yeah. Yeah, right. to that point, NVIDIA knows how to make mobile graphics, but if you're going to be doing <laughs> x86 mobile graphics, hmm. And well, the, the, what I want is, since this cards. is, you know, now a part of Gamescope, just uh, give the deck people uh, an option to have uh, the comparison between FSR and uh, NIS. Just have that going on the deck UI. That'd be nice. What if I cut them both on? <laughs> and, uh, NIS doesn't have any any sort of uh, hardware acceleration through like in any any of like in like the the Tensor Core stuff, right? Not that I'm aware of. Mayhem. They did open source uh, NIS a while back, so uh-huh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm. Just, just out of curiosity. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. We're, you're going to cut it on and be like, eh. All right. no, no, I, I mean, I, I, cu- I cut it on. I'm like, oh, well, performance is still shit. Well, <laughs> FSR looks cool. pretty good. <laughs> cool that it works. Oh, man, you might need it. A uh, couple of new games this week, starting out with Hover Cars, Underground Racing, the year's 3077, and shit is still registered trademarks. <laughs> Underground, <laughs> flying cars apocalyptic tracks difficult weather conditions man i hate difficult weather i want reasonable weather collect and buy cars with bitcoins because why not let's just piss everyone off uh plane leagues and da 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 loosely inspired by cyberpunk so ooh, ooh. that looks like <laughs> some of the desert area in cyberpunk you got to drive through for like a hot minute why not it yeah might be um pa- star wars wipe out blade runner nfs and 1983 1990 and 3077 yeah that need for speed that that font the, the whole font and the logo that's need for speed right there do uh, you want to see what an ea trademark lawsuit looks like i don't so, know here's my take here's my take if you're watching the video version 
Am I alone? Like that, that hover mechanic looks like a wee sus. Like, I yeah, just kind of trick. It it kind it kind of looks like they didn't want to like animate wheels rotating, and so they're like <laughs> they hover now, right? Like something's <laughs> off, is what I'm saying. A little bit. Do we want? Nobody's been able to make a successful wipeout clone. No, that, no, and even the, the people that made Wipeout went on to make the other one that you, the cars that you could drive upside down. <laughs> mm-hmm. Roller, uh, I mean, I mean, roll cage, roll cage. <laughs> there is a demo for this though, so if it does turn out that it is your Jimmy Jam, I mean, you, know, you can well, purchase it for five sixty-seven, six thirty-eight Canadian. Absolute death nail to it, though, Jordan. Oh no, network multi. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <No. laughs> then yeah. uh, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate because, like, that's why. Because here's the thing: you're talking about that. I'm like, yeah, it has a demo. Why did not you? Oh, right, I didn't even bother with it because it doesn't have <laughs> online multiplayer. <laughs> like, well, that's not useful. No, it's not in our modern day. I don't know. Oh. Did you? Uh, do you have any thoughts on it, Pedro? Other than just like he going to yeah, sue somebody? The the the, the floatiness uh, looks. Well, it doesn't even look floaty, which is <laughs> the one time that being floaty is a bad thing because they're floating cars, so you want the floaty to be floaty. I mean, it looks like it's on a <laughs> stick and the stick's drunk. Yeah, it looks very, very stilted. Uh, <laughs> but like if you it, give me steady cabin, like here, we'll just green, green screen that up. I'm like, Arr. I'm looking at the the other games that they released. It's like, oh, they've been putting out a lot of very cheap games. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, so, so it's one of those yes what very it's not my like very movie, frequent releases of, of completely different games basically throw shit at the wall see what sticks <laughs> pedro what are your thoughts on um ea almost becoming nbc ea or uh, NBA, i was more surprised or that nbc backed out it's like really <laughs> uh-huh. i wanted to see what that looked like <laughs> I, oh God. I don't know. I mean, EA already cancels a lot of stuff, so you add NBC to that. <laughs> we're, 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 make, we're making a uh, we're, what was that? We're making an Emerald Road or a em- Emerald Emerald City game. You guys, it's going to be great. We have all this production design oh, and, and and these practical effects, canceled. and <laughs> that I think that could have been a little bit interesting. Um, just out of the grab some popcorn and see what happens poking it with a stick but uh the, it's not completely over yet no like, we're still open to negotiation and, uh, I mean, EA wants to sell very clearly uh i think they're seeing the writing on the wall and people not really enjoying big triple a publishers especially after the very very bad spotlight that was finally Pedro, shown I on blizzard feel that's <laughs> the issue what they're really realizing is the declining revenue of putting a new number at the end of the game every year Right, and pe- too. Pe- well, they were going to sell people on on this NFT stuff, but no one seems to want to buy their fake money now. So, it, it, I don't know, man. It is maybe you can you can sit back, relax, and enjoy some four X goodness in old world, possibly old world. Yeah, and you know, on, ironically, much like uh, New World, the ARPG, this one will cause your uh, video card to spontaneously be encased in a block of ice. It's because it's 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 the opposite, right? Uh yeah, this is uh this is a 4X game. Uh you play in a historical setting where you want to expand. It's basically Civ Light, um, but you're gonna be paying that full Civ price for it. It does have online multiplayer though, so that's one advantage it has over hover racers. Um <laughs> Yeah. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's Weird kind of the only one. But go on. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, that, that it, it has online multiplayer. The other game doesn't. It's a valid comparison, right? Um, yeah, but uh, there, there's so, there's some DLC for it as well. If you're if you're looking for more Civ stuff, I'd, I'd say maybe give this a look. Uh, the reviews seem to be pretty positive. Um, and yeah, look, look, looking at the looking at the screenshots, someone basically just Control C, Control V, Civilization, and did a fine replace on a lot of the proper nouns. Um, but you know, there you go. You, you guys, you guys have any thoughts? Not really. I saw four X on the uh, the tags. It's like nope, <laughs> not, not <laughs> for <else>. Pedro. <laughs> what ben, is that? Ben, you you love where do, where do you strategy, draw, you, right? That's where you draw the line. You're like no one X, two X, uh, curious it, three X. It, like oh, danger that four kind X. Of nope turn base that's only focused on the exploration, the expansion, the 
Can't remember what the other two axes are. Explo- um, exploitation and extermination. <laughs> yeah, no, it, I, I, it, I it is just resource management. There's no action to be had. So, eh. Also, to eh. your point, Vin, if you have uh, three axes, then Vin Diesel shows up, and then you gotta go deal with him. And his not, not in the sequel, he doesn't. Oh well, yeah. Well, if you have three axes, you can't be streaming on Twitch. Well, no, no, no. There's the, there's a return of Xander Cage. He came back for the third one. No, you fucking two, two you gotta know about X's. this. You understand? This. <laughs> uh, Twitch, Twitch has a strict no bowling policy. No X's. Can't have triple X's. Oh no, no strikes. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't know. I got, I got no strikes. <laughs> yeah, I, I got invited. Bowling's fun. I haven't been bowling in forever, man. I, I think I went bowling a whole of twice. <laughs> I got into bowling. I got what I was in. Well, my, you, you, I, were, I, you were in a bowling alley. So, yeah, well, I mean, there's that. <laughs> if you want, to... <laughs> it's more of a One bar. Would expect. But, yeah. <laughs> if you get to that point, um, you would be in. Before that happened, you know, I did the league bowling and all that. I like it. It was an excuse to drink, man. Uh, I didn't have any. Uh, what was it? Kingpin was that the one with Woody Harrelson? Yeah. And, um, where they go in is like, look at all these athletes in the peak condition. I'm like, right. <laughs> the prime of their lives. <laughs> it's kind of like golf. So, uh, I Fractal genuinely City. believe Maggie Robinson's going to sue somebody. Over yeah, this. I'm like, wait, wait, who? L- 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 Lady Demitresque? And then I went and looked at the, the, there's no trailer here. There's there's some still images. And yeah, you know, tall, tall statuesque ladies in, in hats, you know, may, maybe that's up, uh, old Maggie's alley. Uh, but yeah, Fractal City, it is a uh, coming soon game uh, for, featuring some puzzle and survival elements. You supposedly f- a very critical part, Jordan. It's coming soon. Wishless now, all caps. Wishless now. Um, here's the other thing here. In the, in the description blurb, it says, we'll offer hours of new gameplay, and then key features a short game focused on light puzzle solving and platforming. So this tells me that you're probably going to be able to zoom through this in under the Steam refund window. Not a not a good sign. Well, Especially one of the if- things I noticed in there was like it's procedurally generated, so who knows? It might be a two-hour experience. It could be a four-day experience. <laughs> or you might end up with a level that's completely unbeatable, and you have right. to restart it a few times. <laughs> I don't know. Um, how about this? Uh, if you want to generate some interest in your game, a little bit of buzz, follow the rules. Uh, at least I assume it's still a rule where you add some moving pictures. so people. Can you have to have light. a trailer. Yeah, that, that, that was one of the requirements. And well, you know, the you know, wish th- list now is very clearly a grab because if you have a certain amount of wish lists, mm-hmm. then your game is over the trust uh, threshold that lets you have trading cards and other community features. Trailers so. are expensive. <laughs> and, you know, these guys, they couldn't even afford like a texture artist, right? It's all shadows and it's, it's an artistic style. So. <laughs> How much do you think this game is going to be listed for? Out of curiosity, uh, if it's four ninety nine, four ninety nine, a lot of shit. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say fourteen ninety nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim a little higher. Oh, you're gonna give it a full Hollow Knight? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think, I think so. I think, I think they're gonna, they're Biscuits gonna aim high too, with the price. price? Yeah. <laughs> really? Somebody, somebody, hold out and remember that. But I do want to give a little bit of good news, something a little bit positive. You've been waiting for it. Serious Sam Four now supports. Steam Deck at thirty nine ninety nine, right? It is full price. It is Windows only, but it now has Steam Deck support. Apparently, the latest update has added GPU support, and they decided to toss in some bonus Steam Deck compatibility. Which, all right, that's good. A lot of people a little bit upset because it's been eighteen okay. fuck mothering months since the last update, and this really didn't do anything to improve performance or anything like that. To which oh, I'll man. just I'll just jump on top of that and be like. How about y'all motherfuckers do something with Fusion? Because that's been sitting idle for about two years. Dude, so I've, I've been going through uh, Serious Sam form with, 4 with a friend of mine, just mm-hmm. whenever we have whenever we have a free moment uh, in the evenings, uh, take out a, take on a couple levels or so. Yeah, it's it's definitely got some performance problems, especially when they're, like, they they, uh, they say, like, oh, yeah, you're going to have a million enemies on screen. And then you a lot of the enemies are just slideshows uh, mm. after after a certain distance. Is so, it like you know, the uh, Duck Battle Simulator? A little, a little yeah, bit. the enemies that are far out are just two <laughs> frames a second. <laughs> yeah, pr- k- kind of. Yeah, there's there. Uh, it's uh, it feels like a little bit of a regression, Serious Sam Four, almost. But 
I'm not. I'm not. Re- I'm not reviewing that. I'm. I'm just happy that they're actually adding some, you know, support for the Steam Deck. They're not putting out a Linux version, but at least they'll make the. Proton I want to know, version, like, what went down at Crow Team because they could really seem like overnight Crow Team went from like, hey man, one of the first games to come out on Linux with a Serious Sam three, one of the first games to hit Vulcan support, Serious Sam three. They were always playing around, having fun stuff. Then the. Uh, the Sirius M beta, so we got Sirius M1, 2, and all that. Talos, Talos support, Talos yeah, the principle. The Talos principle, yeah. <laughs> Sirius, Sirius M VR, like Crushing, straight up had Linux right. support. Yep. All Linux, then the next day they're like, yeah, we we're, don't have any plans to support Linux. What, what went down? Somebody call me. Somebody send me an email. Let me know. If something <laughs> happened. <laughs> Did Linux uh, step on your dog's tail? What know. happened there? <laughs> Maybe they're they're one Linux engineer left, right? That's like kind of what I was like. Maybe the Linux guy left. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Frozen bite, oh. or, or or you know you know I I feel Valve was trying to buddy buddy with some some folks early in the in the Steam uh, was Steam machines days. Do you think maybe and, it was uh like they were getting some cheddar on the side? And, uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 yeah. I, th- I think I think maybe there was some goodwill that uh, has expired. Um, and by that, they were like, "Yeah, we'll put this on Linux." Uh, where's that check? I was like, "Yeah, oh, we're good." I, I mean, Cro- I mean, Crotean did it right with Fusion, though. They're like, "Yeah, no, we have the entire engine ported, so we can just kind of yeah, bring just bring wherever. the assets and make it work with this version of the engine." There you go. Yeah. There's the one client for everything. Which that was but, but- lead up, and we we're looking at that and like, "Oh man, this thing runs great. It's easy to find." And with like Sirius M or like. Nah. That that said, it does it does. I do think that four is a is a different engine. It definitely feels a little different than Fusion. So, considering how buggy it was on release, yeah, it probably was a new engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, pull off its mask. It was Unreal Engine four. All who knows? <laughs> Double fine. No. <laughs> Coming up next, yeah, we got We got to talk about that. The the other Tim. No, 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 the other Tim, the other, other Tim. The other, other Tim. Yay. The other, other, other Tim. The Come third on. Tim along. The Tim Fecta. Wouldn't you know it, the news, yes, they are coming. But first, we need to do the shilling. It's that thing we do where we tell you how you can, um, well, part with your hard-earned Maybe money. we can yes. finance an anime <laughs> of, let's, um, let's, yeah. We're gonna do our own version of Cowboy Be Back. Be Be Back. Yes. Be Back. Be Back. Cowboy Be Back. Cowboy Be Back for Blood. It's, it's, it's Cowboy Be Bop with zombies. Hire us, Netflix. We'll do it right. Um, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast to send us your unsolicited scripts for Cowboy Be Back for Blood. Uh, you can. But uh, be, be be sure to subscribe, add, join a like a, a higher Patreon tier, like maybe, maybe the six sixty six version, if you want us to actually give that a read. Uh, but you can get some cool stuff just by subbing to the lower tiers. You get access to our Discord channel, which you can get by subbing to us on Twitch. You can get access to our show notes. You can get early access to the uh, how to videos that Ben puts out. Uh, apparently, the NetJack one is coming Monday. It's done, baby. Yeah, uh, it should be up Monday, Let's Tuesday. <laughs> Definitely will be out before um, Wednesday. Yep. Yeah, so uh, you can RSVP to game streams. Uh, if you're in Discord, uh, Ven does Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, I do, well, I'm, one day, one day I'll be able to get some people and play it back for blood on Thursday. I, I was going to have a talk with you, man. You got to put you gotta put a little more effort. And so I saw you took the initiative to do the event, but it was like, meh. No. All right, fine. I'll put, you you got to sell it. it. You got to do a little tap dance. And that. Sunday, Sunday, right. Sunday. All, All right, well, caps. Uh, well, we got we got to thank uh, we got to thank Kraken, uh, Mister Crime, Mister Crimeberry, uh, up to his, <laughs> up to his pledge to uh, to two fifty, so he gets some uh, Death Note access. He gets to look at our show notes and see the the show congeal over the course of the so week. So, what's the fine for a Crimeberry? Uh, I I, th- I think it depends on like how many crime berries you have. It's like it's like oh, is it first thing, offense right? type of situation? No, yeah, no, okay. no, no, no. Because no, like there's possession. Mr. Berry. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's like possession, possession with intent to sell, that kind of stuff, right? Is it like so, a second oh, right. number berry? of berries? Right. right. Yeah, okay. n- yeah. T- total total number of berries per per individual. You can have like you get like four crime berries for a person and any more, <laughs> and you're you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna be in a gym. Let's put it that way. But you uh, also we, get we access have... to our pre pre super shows, and um, that's something that we do live. So if you want to listen an hour before. Before we do that, come in, hop in, do a thing. But Jordan was in the middle of talking. 
Yeah, we got to thank uh, Nubbin, uh, who has also subbed to us for 24 months. Cool stuff. That is a very, very big resub. Yes, thank yeah, you, Nubbin. That, that, is, that is two whole years of subbing to us on Twitch. Whoa, uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, we got we got, we got a store, uh, store.linuxgamecast.com, if you want to broadcast your love for us to the people and confuse them, because no one actually knows who we are. You'll walk around with our faces on your chest, Baby, and people you will be can like, "Go out and about with the Hellux," and people are like, "Oh, that's novel. What is that?" And they will discover it and not be your friend anymore. Yeah, having to explain Linux game cast to people is a fantastic way to end conversations. Well, I'm still thinking right now <laughs> of doing like a <laughs> hour long anime of us just sitting like <laughs> in a three shot talking about random shit, and I don't think that's been done. Jeez. Oh, if someone uh, uh, has anime drawing skills and they want to animate an entire episode of uh, LGC, we, 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 you need no, to we, get in touch. <laughs> we, we need LGC V2 edition. If we got yeah. puppets, we could like just wiggle some sticks. I could make like a Raspberry Pi to do that. It'll, no one would be able to tell. <laughs> Stick wiggler. Uh, <laughs> What else do we got? We got uh, Wishstones. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Pedro has one. Ven has one. Jill has one. You can buy some stuff. Help build up our studio and or other other crap that we need and or want. Uh, you can send us a note that we got to read on the air. And if you send Ven some stuff, you get your name in lights. Or at least in <laughs> fluorescent marker. <laughs> I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Uh <laughs> <laughs> enough radiation to make you glow counts as light but okay <laughs> listen s- send us some stuff off our wish list and we will irradiate you with all sorts of radiation you will Solid. glow many colors we Solid will beam brain. ourselves directly into your brain oh with man gamma rays. <laughs> pew 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 letting schemecast.com thanks for supporting us letting us do what we do keeping us loud live independent and reminder we're also uh doing the thing on spotify we got spotify, the video yes there. Yeah, you can leave us a voicemail. And you can. Yeah. <laughs> Voicemails for Spotify. <laughs> I'm sure some people have thought about it. No one's taking us up on it. Come on, do do it, you cowards. Right? Come on. I'm going to get Jordan to do it if no one knows. <laughs> like, <laughs> I need to register for a fucking Scott Spotify account. I need a Scottify account, too. A Scottify. For other, for other reasons. The Canadian What's version. Does Scott know about that? <laughs> he, he will soon. Yeah, once he's going to find out. I mean, you can only keep it on the down low. So yeah. long. But to get into the news for this week, uh, we did have a very, very at least for me, enjoyable piece coming out uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. Psychonauts 2, Double Fine. Very classic. I mean, I guess it's a classic game at this point, right? When no, the, fir- the first, the the first, first one, one was yes. a classic. Yeah. <laughs> Much beloved. And, you know, it was uh, something new for Double Fine at the time. That was like a 3D, fully 3D game. And um, they did the fig thing, which we've had our words about fig, about what it is and how it worked, but it did succeed. It passed its fig goal. $3.8 million and things have happened since it was released. Like Microsoft now owns um, Double Fun and mm-hmm. that happened. But there's the latest update new languages. That's cute. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be a pigeon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, though, I can finally update everyone about the Mac OS and Linux versions of Psychonauts 2. I'm dang glad to say that the Mac and Linux versions will be available on all major storefronts next Yay! week. <sighs> Woo-hoo. Yay. <laughs> Not okay. How much of a like um anger burrito would you form like exclusively on the Epic Game Store? <laughs> if listen, if they found a way to force the Epic Game Store to actually have a Linux game you could download, I would mm-hmm. be impressed. That, that is yeah. <laughs> that 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 is, that is, that is it's some basically kung fu. Tim dicking over other Tim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 baby. Here we go. We can go deeper. It could be available uh, through Microsoft's online Xbox, streaming. Xbox Cloud, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's it, it's good to see, though. I mean, historically, oh, Double Fine oh, has hang been... on, hang on, hang on. Does the Steam package could install Edge? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. It, the, it installs a snap for Edge. That's what it does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, that's 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 you can't get injury. snapd running though unless someone has managed to put snapd in a flat pack it's gonna ask Listen, for the root password we, 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 we can go deeper <laughs> we, we we can force jeff goldblum to make this software package we'll chain him to a computer he'll be like i don't know how to make software Did and you he'll be like too bad uh, jeff goldblum oh man there's they're making a new jeff goldblum um, action figure where he's like laying down uh, yep. Yeah, yeah I press the button. He's like, oh, run, run towards the screaming. Yeah. But all I can say uh, about Psychonauts 2, if this is about damn time, 
I'm a huge fan when Microsoft releases a new Linux game. So good on you, Redmond. And um, we're talking about this a little more in depth in the pre-pre super shows. And, but yeah, I think we've all played the original, right? Yeah. Yes. And Years ago. I had the same experience that Pedro brought it up. I'm like, yeah, I got about like three quarters of the way through it. And I didn't like get angry at it. I never get frustrated with it. It was like, I'm full. I'm good. Yeah. I finished there, there, it, but the the final bit was a slog. Yeah, the, there uh. there is a lot to that game. Um, you're gonna get your money's worth in terms of playtime, and like his, historically, Double Fine has been pretty good with the Linux ports. Like they've been performant, no real technical issues. Mm-hmm. But the Monkey Ranch here is Psychonauts is UE4 or number two at least. So we've seen some good UE4 ports. We've seen some real bad UE4 ports. I hope it's in the former category and not in the latter, but. <laughs> You know, That's it is like most U, most of the really bad UE4 ports we didn't get because they were like the uh, Unreal Engine ghetto. Uh, <laughs> uh, all of the pre-made assets those didn't really get a Linux release. So the Linux releases that we got with UE4 were at least passable. They weren't great, yeah, like, but they were passable. <laughs> I'm thinking of like Supraland, right? Like where it's like well mm. done, it performs reasonably well. It, yeah, but the there's, performance there's was still, a bit poop, but it worked. There, there, <laughs> yeah, there's there and there there's still jank. So this this is what I'm thinking is that maybe maybe we'll get like something playable, maybe maybe 30 frames a second, it'll be perfect for your Steam Deck. Well, I, you know, but, uh, on the topic of like Superland, I mean, we saw that more than once was a uh, developer like, yeah, hit the export button, give me money for it. No, I don't support it. But thanks <laughs> for the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, then, you know, that got out and was like, oh, I just don't, oh, you didn't see anything. There's no, but no, my money. <laughs> There's no Linux version. What are you talking yeah. about? Shut up. So, <laughs> Dolphin. Yes. There's uh well, there's a couple of uh, emulator projects that we like to bring up. Uh, Dolphin being one of them, RPCS3 being the other one. Uh, and they have these big progress report posts every now and then. Um, RPCS3 was doing it like once a month. They seem to have slowed down, but Dolphin, uh, they have the progress report for the past three months, February, March, and April, uh, and they have quite a few uh, notable changes and a few fixes that they've introduced. Apparently, uh, Nintendo decided to kill the uh, the Wii store um, very quietly and out of the blue without warning anyone, just nope, not having it, and as it turns out, Dolphin was making use of it to download the system files and... There are certain games that require certain specific system files, which were very easy to acquire because yes, the store the, was the, online. The, the, the me, the me shop. Uh, there there yeah. was a bunch of stuff, and it, the 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 problem the problem was that some games will actually, or most games will actually ship with the OS files required. But mm-hmm. there's still a couple. There's still like older versions and stuff that uh, Dolphin expects to be there that can't. And it was them. very easy to get that stuff because it was online. Yeah. Stumbling, but yeah, uh, yeah uh, you know, Nintendo and their everlasting hypocrisy when it comes to emulation because they're really against emulation unless they're using it themselves for their own stuff uh and yeah it it, as it turns out this hurt uh the dolphin and project as well but the they carried on uh there there's the uh the deck and uh they also found that disabling the mmu there were a few games uh that they thought that the really bad performance they were the Disney uh, the trio of Disney games that they bring up the performance is really bad it's always been really bad and they thought okay maybe it's the defaulting to having the MMU on so let's turn it off they did and it made no difference none whatsoever (laughs) so yeah more on that uh, in a future version maybe and the other bit that the this one, I just thought it was interesting because apparently the um, GPU on the SoC for the Samsung Galaxy S22 doesn't have any GLES drivers. None whatsoever. It's all Vulkan all the time. So uh, the way that it runs GLES applications is with Angle, the GL to Vulkan translation layer. And part of me wants to give Samsung a major round of applause for doing a phone entirely in Vulcan. That's uh, very good. <laughs> yeah. The, the other, the other thing that uh, is part of the progress report here is the, uh, is, uh, the deck compatibility. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Building it on the Steam Deck is a bit of a no-go because of the mutable file system, but you can install a flat pack version, and that's what they recommend. Um, they say that the GPU has uh, solid OpenGL and Vulkan performance. You're going to want to use OpenGL sometimes just because some uh, games are just OpenGL and that will just perform better. Um, but the CPU power governor may interfere with what Dolphin needs. Apparently, if you're going to be presetting stuff, you want to keep the CPU running in about the 3 to 3.4 gigahertz range for best results. Also, the... Like going going back into the 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 Wii system files thing, that was really interesting because apparently those also still exist on like a bunch of CDNs for mm-hmm. completely unrelated Nintendo consoles, and so it was a matter of um, Dolphin changing the URL they pull the files from to another <laughs> Nintendo server. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a little screwy. Well, you gotta imagine that's kind of safe if you're Nintendo. Like, what are they gonna do? Change the URL? Oh, <laughs> well, right. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> As it turns out. <laughs> Unfortunately, Pedro, have you played around with the, what emulators have you tried on your deck? Uh, on the deck, I've only tried the um, Game Boy Advance one because that was the first ROM that I came across. <laughs> okay, and it's like, okay, let's just put that there. We go, it works, but Was yeah, no, I haven't Emerald? actually uh, bothered to set up every time I go to the emu deck website to see if do you have a flat pack version that I can just click install and run and you do everything. No, there's still like six steps you gotta do it. All right, later. Do you think we'll ever get anything like Dolphin on Steam, just in general? Uh, well, well, RetroArch, RetroArch uh, already offers uh, the core. Uh, they offer the cores for the different systems as DLC. That was kind of one way to get around regulation. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I, I, maybe get I, I one know. for Dolphin. I, I as much as I would like to see the Godzilla esque fight between Nintendo and Valve, <laughs> uh, I do. I, I I think maybe maybe. Uh, Nintendo has like the winning legal side of that, but mm-hmm. well, emulation, emulation is uh, is still to well, be tested in court, unfortunately. <laughs> but that, that's the thing, though. Now, now you now you are providing on a paid platform an ability to circumvent DRM, and that's a no go in uh, that's a no go in the United States. Uh, except the, the Nintendo consoles that you're uh, that you can get the course to on Steam uh, are the NES and NES NES, which don't. Have any DRM? Yeah, right. Yeah, but Nintendo's not making money off those now. So yeah, uh, yes, they are. It, they keep on reselling that shit. Every yeah, well, yeah, they, they sell Brand you the new. game for another ten dollars that you can only play yeah. on that console. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Um, I'm glad projects like Dolphin are around, and uh, yeah, the GameCube emulator, Yuzu, everything. Like, because in 10, 15 years from now. It's going to be the only way you're going to be able to play this stuff. I mean, outside of oh, Nintendo, yeah. whatever Nintendo's Laser 6 console is, you're still going to be paying 20 bucks for a Switch game, but, you know. $100 for a Switch game. Ugh. Possibly. <laughs> let's talk about Stone. Yeah. So Yes, let's uh, talk about Ven. <laughs> let's talk about Ven's kingdom of glass that he's surrounded by, tempered glass. No, uh, Stone Kingdoms, it's on GitLab. Uh, it is a Stronghold-inspired uh, real-time strategy game done on the Love 2D engine. That's always good to see. Um, so I had to go look up what the hell Stronghold was because... Can I ask you a question I, <laughs> you'll probably already know the answer to? What was that? What the hell is Get Large File Storage? Uh, Get Large File Storage is... Uh, Get, Get's not good, usually good at storing large blobs because it tries to do like actual diffs of the of the file. Okay. So large fi- large file storage provides a facility for like managing large files that don't necessarily change all that often. So that sort of outside of the standard Get mechanism. All right. um, yeah, um, that's the very glib version. Uh, but yeah, uh, Stronghold. Uh, I I had to look up what that game was, uh, and I. Once I saw the box art, I realized that it was that one PC game at EB that I just passed over every single time because it looked boring as shit. <laughs> but, um, you know, maybe you like medieval settlement building because that's what the game was about. You build historical medieval settlements. You do you can do RTS military stuff or you can do uh, economic stuff if you want to go for the money victory. So, you know, it's, it's good to see. Open, it's not a re-implementation. This is a game in the, in the style of. You so know if what? you were a big fan of Stronghold. Give it a look. Well, I mean, like, even the Stone Kingdom. Somebody else walked by that uh, bargain bin and they saw it. And yeah. uh, <laughs> they had to think, I disappeared, by the way. Uh, Darkness. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, they had the same thought, though. Whatever happened to that Stone Kingdom's game? <laughs> 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 oh. From 2019? All right. That's- yeah. 
So yeah, no, it's still getting updated. The the uh, mm. GitLab is showing from a week ago. So yeah, that that's mm. <laughs> it's active. Uh, although my the, dad, the, my dad was the one that uh, liked Stronghold. He played Strong. That was his jam. He liked him some uh, RTSs. So uh, it, when Stronghold first came out, that was one of the ones that uh, could run on my PC. <laughs> yeah. Appar- apparently, the last Stone Kingdom re- release, the last tag release, was about two years ago. Okay. So the people using this are probably building from head. Stone Kingdom's people, maybe do a release. We'll cover it. Go for it, baby. Uh, Jordan, tell people about Doom real quick while I uh, do the Mad Dash across the studio. And sure. I'm going to sing the Doom song. Doom, 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 Yeah. No, it's the open source It's open source version of Doom 3, you know, back when that source code got released. A couple projects got their mitts on it. Dehum was one of them. It's one of the ones that Pedro likes, actually, right? Because you can use the arrow keys. I could use the arrow keys. <laughs> they have, but they have a new release, one dot five dot two. You can. They have uh, some gamma brightness controls, a um, bunch of SDL two based keyboard improvements. Um, you can loop sounds. Um, there's now uh, there's now an actual uh, log file for console logs, which is also re- which is usually very handy. Oh, I hate it when applications are like, yeah, we're gonna log a bunch of shit to terminal. Great, and then it's gone forever. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah no the, it was always one of my biggest uh, gripes with Doom Three was the fact that I couldn't use the directional arrows because they just wouldn't get registered at all. Uh, for some reason, it didn't like certain keyboard layouts, and if it didn't like them, yeah, it didn't get to use those keys. But Doom has actually been fixing that, and with the new improvements that they've made to the last version. Basically, regardless of whichever keyboard layout you have nowadays, you can set whatever keys you want. So, thank you, also, <laughs> Doom also, uh, developers. <laughs> better Wayland support. Always good to see, as you know, mm-hmm. we're we're slowly moving into the post-X future. It's, oh, we are, baby. I mean, we're definitely getting, like, nine and a half, half years away. Game scope. Yeah. <laughs> game scope. This is just... I mean, anybody who's ever looked, looked at the, the Doom 3 source and, like, did anything other than like jump out a window? You just have my respect because that was some peak Carmack level shit. No more running as root. Yeah. That might upset some people, but that's a new reality you got to deal with. And is did, did you have to run the server as root or just like the game actually? Oh no, you you could people run shit like that as root, bro. I know you don't want to deal with it, but that's reality. Yeah. What arch oh. users? Ugh. I mean, un- users. unless you're running a uh, puppy, at which point, yes. You are root, and everything is being run as root. <laughs> Think about it, though. I mean, if you're coming from Windows, you're like, oh, why would I have to? Yeah, r- run as administrator. You right. Mean, didn't... That that that's the first recommended fix whenever you try to, are trying to get yes. a game to work, and you Google it. It's like first thing, right click, run as administrator. Fuck you, no. Let it send whatever it needs to send. Just <laughs> yeah, just just, just 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 sudo just just curl this bash script from my website and pipe it into sudo. It's fine. Yeah. Listen, Jordan, I'm just trying to save time on my Linux machine. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's more convenient. So yeah, Maybe. there is that. But before we get out of here, Godot's got a game gem number three. Yeah, uh, this one's actually a twofer. It starts on the 27th of May. So there's regular Godot, Go Godot Classic, and then there's Go Godot Ultra, which has which is only uh, five days long, actually has a cash prize. Uh-oh. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a lot more uh, fierce competition. Oh, it's solo only as well. The regular game Get Jam lets you contribute as a group. The Wait Ultra one. I have questions. It's for people that want a challenge, like high risk. High, what, what's the risk? Do they take a pinky toe or what? I mean, is, the, the, the risk is you, the time that you, you yeah. waste. Make, make <laughs> you invest make those five days and then you don't get to participate in the other one. Maybe? I don't or know. or no, you, no, you just don't get the 240 bucks. That's kind of right. what where it's at. <laughs> I'm um, thinking pinky toe. Yeah. Uh, but there's, there's also the festival as well where you can learn. There's a bunch of talks and stuff about Godot if you're interested in getting started or if you're looking at uh, some other new cool stuff that you can implement via Godot. There's going to be some talks. Uh, lead in the days leading up to it. The theme is still to be announced. So, you know, get your, get your, 
creative juices flowing if you're going to be participating it starts in the on gym. friday next week so yeah. yeah no i like these uh the the game gems are like two days or three days or in this case five days uh the the limited time ones those are always the ones that have the interesting like games demos whatever you want to call them um, they, they have an interesting game mechanic that they've shoot yeah into, like, they, they have the one mechanic that they really wanted to like sit down and do and that's like explore to the max it's like yes interesting stuff give it <laughs> well it's also something that you can plop out and get away with program art yeah you're like hey here's the core of it what do you think oh that's a good idea people really like that hmm yeah then yeah, and and of course, open source is not a requirement, but it's always good to open source your game if it you're going to submit it to a jam. I think that's good. I love to see over the years. Just I mean, Godot's went from a curiosity to something more genuinely seeing games released with. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it is a valid competitor to like. I wouldn't say Unreal, but definitely Unity for sure. Yeah, Unity's uh, helping with that. Much as it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you, Unity is a steady slide that's making Godot. <laughs> more appealing by speaking default. of sliding coming up next i don't have a gambling problem i can <laughs> stop anytime i want are you sure about that no what are the odds <laughs> ah! <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This week we're going to Vegas, baby. Hot slots. Uh, we're <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we're uh, we're 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 gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a game involving a lot of gambling, run it on a bunch of computers with different Linux, Linux distributions with slightly different hardware, and give you a highly highly scientific, hundred percent guaranteed score. You're not you're you're not you're not gonna lose all your money on this one based no, on launchers. Um, this week we're taking a look at Dungeon Real Tactics by Grandma's Basement Games on the Unity Engine. You can pick it up for about 15 bucks. What is it? Dungeon Real Tactics is a party-based roguelike with slot machine and puppet shows. Collect new party members with their own pre-built slot machine reels and embark on an adventure to attempt to defeat the great evil. Got to thank uh, Grandma's Basement Games for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. And because Pedro liked the game the most, uh, as usual, he gets to go first. So tell us about it. As it turns out, <laughs> I like video games, and this one tickled my pickle, so to speak. Uh, the yeah, no, uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX uh, 1080, it launched out of the box on the Steam Deck. It launched out of the box. It v-syncs to whatever your uh, screen refresh rate happens to be. So very good v-syncs, very good. One four four here and forty in my case for the Steam Deck. Uh, it's it's a 3D world with 2D sprite characters. I have complained about this in the past and it hasn't gotten any better but it's passable the the sprites on this one at least are sharp and pixely so that the that's good uh the what actually got me in the aesthetics department was the background music there's absolutely no cohesion between the background songs and i love it because they all seem to work really well each background track seems like the dev was inspired uh because they really liked a certain game back in the early days Uh, from what i could hear was doom fallout one fallout two like that mark morgan era and like the early final fantasy games you you can hear the influences of all of them in some of the background tracks it's I've mentioned it before. The music can make or break a game, more so than graphics, in my eminently questionable opinion. And, well, the best example that I can give you for that is Morrowind. Um, but Dungeon Real Tactics does a very good job of it, too. The, like, the background music is great. It, it is very good indeed. But... When it comes to the actual meat of the gameplay progression, it's laid out fairly similarly to Slate Aspire, which is another game that I really like. And the combat is very similar as well, and you get the reels, which give you three random cards, which you, yeah, use it to... um attack enemies and if one of your character dies you may use your soul crystals to get a scratchy ticket that uh gets you another party member or maybe you'll get lucky and you'll find a scratchy ticket in one of the special rooms uh it is it has all the trappings of a really really good roguelite like slate aspire but 
it doesn't look quite as elaborate as that one does. Uh, and honestly, I don't really care how it looks. I I was actually having a lot of fun playing it, so uh, four chairs as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> How about you, Jordan? On Fedora 3564 bit with the R9 3900X GTX 1080 Ti. I launched it out of the box. Old 68 UHD. Hey, there's resolution controls. That's a pleasant surprise given a couple of the games we've looked at recently. Controls. They're mostly click and keyboard. You click on things and things happen on the screen. It's pretty good. All the pixel art seems pretty distinct, but I will say I do have a gripe with the limited color palette. Everything is kind of becomes the same color in some of the more crowded battles. They seem, well, crowded. Fun wise, oh, is it scambly? Yeah, I, I gotta say, as as a, as a design Skinner box, as something designed to trigger the pleasure centers of your brain, this is a pretty good job. Um, hitting jackpots feels super satisfying, and I think the RNG is actually favored, weighted to favor them a little, because um, they t- they seem to pop out at some pretty convenient times. And if you're playing the lucky dude, then you just get jackpots all the time because that's his ability. Um, Speaking of, all the classes have fun little different abilities and mechanics to go with them. Uh, they all interact with the slot machines in unique ways, like the Blood Knight gives you duds that like will uh, will make it so that a lot of your results that you get are empty. But there's a they have a they have a card that turns all those into damage, so you want to build them up and then flush them out. It's it's pretty well done. Um, yeah, the the other the other grip I have with the with the fights themselves is in order to balance it, everyone gets three essentially three moves a turn, uh, plus their plus their movement, and so they give you three enemies per party member you have, and that seems reasonable, right? If you can do three three things, the enemies can do three things a turn, and it's about how you can uh, how you can position yourself and how you can uh, utilize the resources at hand to uh, to come out on top, but. It also means that these fights will take forever if you have a full ass party because, you know, there's two dozen people that need to go before your dudes can go. And it's kind of annoying. Um, the boss fights where you have to manage taking big hits from a frequently acting bag of hit points were fun. And I wish, like, the game had more more combats like this or at least more variety in the combat because a lot of it is just lure everyone to a middle point and then use your area effects to just murder fuck them the they do become a, the fights do become a little monotonous at times and less tactical um the storyline's cute focusing uh really reinforces the gambling mechanics by having everyone just be a gambling addict everyone goes to like slot machines Every, the 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 land is called like gamblonia or something it's pretty fucking cute um yeah, I, I, I liked it. I think it's a, a well-made RPG. I think it could use a little more depth, uh, especially if it's going for replayability. I'm always a big fan of games where, like, Slay the Spire uh, or Grifflands, or from a tabletop perspective, Fate of the Norns Ragnarok, where your character is more defined by random actions that they can do on a given term. It's a, it's a fun way of uh, managing your character, as opposed to just getting numeric bonuses. I'll give it three cheers. Nice. All right, so... Check it over, over here. Let me reset my clock. Let's keep me honest. There it is. So on Debian 11, Debian 11 led 1920X, thread booper, 32 gigs of RAM, 3060, uh, no issues, none none to report. Full screen, wooden mode, like to see that. Didn't check the FERPs, but I'm pretty sure it was getting at least 60 at 2160p, aka consumer 4K on the 3060. And out of curiosity, gentlemen, I tried this with a controller. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm not even going to hate on it. An attempt was made, but stuff like this just, you know, if Steam controller might have been a good experience, but, you know, somebody tried to shoehorn an actual gamepad controls in this, and it would be serviceable if that was the only way you could do it, but I don't suggest it. But good for trying. Good for trying. Now, for fun, fuck you, mini boss pillars. Fuck you, for I was victorious. I might have lost <laughs> all my party members except for the mage guy, and he might have had two health. And I might have RNG'd that jackpot right at the end. But that still counts. And I killed the pillars of stone. That killed me like three other times, man. I was happy about that. So what's the game about? You're watching Pedro play this. This is RNG boop fest. And it's not ashamed of it, man. You got the warrior wizard, some useless fucko that is lucky. Jordan pointed out. That is a good thing, though. It is. uh, (laughs) Yeah. I mean, take your turns. You move around. Apply some buffs. Click on some batteries. Upgrade your shit and continue your adventure. Now, you can pick up party members along the way, and you need to. You absolutely need to, man. Um, And it's really basic, and that's a good thing. I was able to keep track of everything. 
this is not my type of game. But that said, the gameplay, that tip text, you've seen it in the video if you're watching that. On the top of the screen, it scrolls left to right. This is known in politer circles as the wrong fucking way. That uh, is very difficult to read because it's going the wrong way that you would. And anyway, maybe take a look at that. And something you've definitely seen on the video is you hit space to end your turn. But all that does, if you're not completely out of turn, is pop up a box that causes you to grab the mouse and click it. Maybe it's just me. I felt well, like you, it. Wait, what? You you can't hit anything in range, then? Are you sure you want to end your turn? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm out of steps. Nothing there. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm done with this guy. Click. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, okay. I went and looked for an option to get rid of that. Didn't it? There it was. Uh, but hey, small annoyance. However, um, I know you worked hard on the battle animations and the slot machine bits. That's really neat at first. I liked it. I was like, oh, that's cute. You know, it's doing thing. However, that 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 gets old after a while. I mean, it genuinely does. I mean, I'd like to see an option maybe to disable it. That's another thing. I went to the options like, can I just like, you know, make this uh, do the thing instead of waiting? Especially when you get a bunch of enemies on screen, that adds to the game. We can call it speed booping. We just disable it and everything flies by. I like that. I'd be very happy about that. Outside of that, there's nothing wrong with the dungeon real tactics, but you know. It's not going to change your mind if you're not a fan of turn-based roguelike strategy RPGs. And I also worry, maybe uh, Pedro and Jordan, you can speak to this after I'm done, but people who eat that kind of shit up might be a little bit lacking in the depth area. That's just a guess, educated guess. But I will say fourteen ninety nine. you know, it's the price of one Hollow Knight. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Uh, everything worked. I think I had as good a time as possible. To give it two chairs on this, but gentlemen, what are your thoughts on if we reversed mobile game this? <laughs> I think yeah, I think I think this could probably do good as a mobile game if you actually had to pump money into it. Like you a have to plot, tilt, plot yeah, tilt the camera a little bit so it works better with the uh, touch screen, and you can accelerometer. Gotta tap. <laughs> uh, yeah, you yeah, suppose yeah. you could use a gyro cellar opener type of situation. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but you know, I I I am with you, Ben. I, I feel like yeah, there there is there is a lack of depth of the game, and I feel it kind of hurts it. Uh, because the, there's basically two types of fights. There's this fight that you're seeing right here, and then there's a boss fight. Um and uh, what, what was that other tactics game where like um time passes Wildermyth or oh. you know what? Some, 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 something like that 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 had like more interesting scenarios than this and I, I i feel like if they just added maybe two or three like different types of encounters and then kind of shuffle them that would go a long way in breaking up some of the monotony of the fights yeah mm. some of the bosses are different but yeah the general enemies outside of oh there's an enemy that attacks twice oh there's an enemy that doesn't really do damage but they heal and they buff the other ones a lot yeah the they all eventually end up melding together, but I think that's kind of the point because the RNG and the variety comes from whether or not the um, the reels are going to spin something that can actually win you that one. I, I, and- I, I don't know. I don't know because I feel I feel games like these are sort of walking a tight tightrope of like yes, it's very RNG heavy, and this game is like super fucking RNG heavy, mm-hmm. um, but. But that's also tempered by like you can use strategy and you can use sort of like positioning and skill to to influence that and to mitigate uh, the the swinginess of the RNG and I and it's not it's not really here it, it really isn't. You, you I mean can, you here can, the the most you can do is what you said is uh, yeah just clump up and uh, focus your fire that's it yeah that, yeah that, 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 that that's kind of it you don't really have to change up your tactics and I mean that, yeah that, I that, mean, that'll, that'll get boring after a while I didn't do it to focus my fire so much as I yeah I, uh, that was my two strats a either get people as far fuck away from each other as I possibly could to divide and hopefully conquer or get them close so I could keep everybody buffed. Yeah, and and and, and that, that's that's kind of it. I, I really wish that there were some. There's just more variety in the fights. Hmm. I um, liked it. I mean, for what it is, I mean, it. A lot of thought went into this, and you know, it. I like. This reminds me a lot of, like presentation wise, is something like Dicey Dungeons. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Again, for sure. a genre and limited as the gameplay loop is. I yeah. again, I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, so yeah, I am a simple person. <laughs> 
yep. And then you get a fire mage and just start wrecking shit, which is awesome. Yeah. There we go. Pro tip. Fire mage. There it is. Coming up next, we try and run the open source NVIDIA drivers on 8800 GT and see what happens. I wanted to, uh, I was trying to think of a quote from a movie about Yen being nigh, and yeah, I was trying to be original, but I failed miserably, as usual. I was just thinking about dogs playing saxophone. I was thinking about my alternate universe novel about Jack London's Insanity Wolf. Clearly, you two have uh, much more imaginative brains than me, but hey. uh, I'm just on drugs. (laughs) <laughs> if you're listening to us, you probably have some drugs. imagination going and you have your own hat canon of exactly how this came about, despite us having mentioned how it came about many, many times already. But uh, mm. let us know. <laughs> you can shout at us in a multitude of different ways, including, but not limited to, your vocal cords. Uh, also, if you're going to look scared, a lap dip. Lickscamecast.com. Lick your yes. game. And com. click the contact button at the top of the site there. Uh, you'll be presented with some caveats that you should read. You don't have to, but you should read them. Uh, and then there's a forum. Just pick LGC Weekly as the subject, what you'd like to talk about. And feel free to let us know exactly how it is that you get out of bed in the morning. Funky. Uh, <laughs> Maximum funk. <laughs> Maximum I mean, that may sound like a bit it. creepy, but there's actually no reason for it. First thing that How many times do you think you could pull off maximum thunk? Twice? Maybe three times? <laughs> and you gotta go to the I, ER? I, I pull off a maximum thunk about every other week. Oh. I pull out a maximum thunk about every other week. Do, do you got I, like, I, yeah, I pull out right? a maximum thunk about it's every the other X week. X games of waking up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. JP writes in because. Last week, yeah, last week we got the big news that NVIDIA is completely open sourcing everything, except they're not. Uh, but their kernel shim is now available, and you can play around with it at home. Do your things, Jordan. Did you, you installed the... Uh, I, I, just, I just installed uh, Gamescope I, and the, uh, I, the blob version of the new drivers that support it. So you decided not to install it because, well, I mean, that was with I hate you. freedom. Yeah. I, 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 I hate freedom. <laughs> I think we should all live under the Buddha tyranny. It wasn't compatible with the 10 series cards, right? Supposedly, sure, let's go. Uh, NVIDIA let's, let's, said let's, let's, let's that go it was Turing or higher. Turing or higher. Hmm. Because JP writes in, he says, apparently, this new NVIDIA kernel module does work with Pascal, though it's not supported officially. I haven't tested this, so you go test it, fucko. I'm not going to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it's like, I, I, I heard I've, that it works. Go test it. Chop, I've chop. also heard <laughs> that some folks have got it running with Pascal. I'm not bold enough to try, mainly because I also don't care enough to try at this point. Maybe if I had a 30 series, uh, I, I might I might be inclined just to give it a, a whirl. But for now, they're real. It's really just for uh, the open source ones are really just for server, anyways. Like they don't have a yeah. lot of the gaming stuff in them, which is what I care about. Um, um, it, it will be far more interesting when the distros actually start packaging them and making their own customizations um, and then people calling the people who made those decisions idiots and we have a whole new round of uh, flame wars when it comes to the NVIDIA kernel modules for the Linux kernel. I mean, it's it's not, it's like we didn't we didn't start the fire it's always been burning right it's not it's not it's not an old it's not a new fire it's just the, the and old we're fire we're certainly hit, not trying to put medium. it out at least i'm not <laughs> yeah we are trying to light billy joel on fire though no we we've been over this stop <laughs> you're gonna get a restraining order um, <laughs> too late baby too late i don't know man um I am glad that they're doing it because we're going to start seeing things like improvements to game scope and things that we're going to need for Wayland in the future, but not broke. Don't fix right now. I, even with the 30 series card, I'm like, that's nice. Uh, I'll, I'll check back in on that. Maybe what? Yep. Six months. Again, if you're going to be using them to play video games, all the stuff you want is in these drivers anyways. So you're really just confirming that, Hey, it boots. Hey, I can launch a, a, a Chrome window and watch a YouTube video. And maybe maybe do a little bit of CUDA on the side. CUDA on the side. Bang suggests that. Don't do it, because we got to get out of here. <laughs> no, what, what, no mention of pro, Tony Hawk's Pro Gator? No? God damn it, you had to, didn't you? <laughs> oh, motherfucker. If you want to get a hold of us, you can do it. Uh, just me, 
and everybody else, but I'm just at Vince Stone on Twitter or Mastodon, mass.linuxemcast.com. I'm at Vin there. Use your contact form, leave a comment on Patreon, YouTube, wherever we may be, and we'll probably get back to you in one way, shape, form, or fashion. I am Bam Margera's amateur crocodile. You can find <laughs> me on Twitter at The Burning Fool or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. I can't think of any uh, other uh, Tony Hawk's characters because I always made Rodney my own Bullen. custom one. Spider Man. <laughs> I, I I made my own. So are you, yeah, are you, I, are you Spider Man? <laughs> no, but uh, yes, the English version of my name is technically Peter. If you want to go there, but uh, yes, this conversation is starting to peter out as it is. So if you'd like to find me, shout at me at an accounted for on Twitter. Maybe one of these days I'll have a more. I don't know, descriptive. How, how long has that uh, diseased hamster thing been hanging there? Uh, oh, I just noticed it. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few months. Okay. I think the camera was at a slightly different angle, so it was off shot. That but makes I had, me feel I, I wanted to get it. the yeah, Microsoft yeah. Lift's Linux sticker All on right. the shot, so. <laughs> we got to roll some credits. Just like so, diseased hamster. So <laughs> kawaii. <laughs> Ugu. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm done making anime noises tonight. Oh, the credits are slow <laughs> this time <laughs> around. No, they're not. Gotta thank our advisors, Omegas, Artheron. We got our executive producers. We got LDS, Barbara Ramp, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, and Pebble. Our Chicago Kicks Hassle, Nikki Fans, Darkwing, and Nixon's Pyramid Abstraction. And our sea monsters. monsters, Jack B, Renault, Ryder X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuta, Justin, Frostclaw, Strider, Hakim, and Nubbin. What yeah, plenty of death notes like Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romero, Marcin, System T, Stephen Jill, Dirty Dean, Beck, uh, Zantaris Gaming, Rooks, Turnover, and Fox Dog, uh, Yannick, Cheese Bacon. We got the chairlings. We got Reagan. Giovanni, Greg, <laughs> North Ranger, Lex Nuru, Sherry Vigil, Von Havenstaffen, Reginald Bo, <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Colin and Tom Ryan C. and Linux New Freezer Jolly Asia. Dementor Martin Delric Rohit Jade Minus Nine JPX. Jonas Rulo Felatio Large <laughs> Underscore <laughs> Mammal We got we got we got we got to move Belric. we got to move cracking up Yeah Daniel look at these fuckers Minus Minus Nine Minus Eleven <laughs> Get out of here Frank Two Minus <laughs> Go back to space Numbered One and Nineteen More Hey everyone. We'll be back next week, but until then, down to fire. Bye. Frank will survive. Frank will survive. For as long as he's a skeleton. First I was a Frank. I was petrified. (laughs) (laughs) This is what Frank needs. Because he was a skeleton, he never was alive. (laughs) I got all my love to give, and I will survive. (laughs) Five dudes.